just out of curiosity, is it supposed to not have the main menu? No? Okay. So, what's going on, everybody? My name is Adrian Knight, aka Ross the Boss, whatever you want to call me. In the We're deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. All right, so you'd probably notice I just switched to hard mode. That's because, um, Apparently, recording software doesn't like to be a recording software when uh, I play normal mode, so maybe it'll like me when I play hard mode. Maybe. Well, I'll see how it goes. So, I might have loaded the wrong one. Now, you see, the reason why I did that is because um, if you look at like these normal ones, like, uh, let's see, your Savoya, you know, the bottom one is the first one, then it moves up. And through mud and blood. My granddad fought in the Civil shut, War. Shut up, African American. Before I left, he told me what it takes to stay alive. Like, you see, they, they they move up, but in the nothing is written. An insurgency. It goes from up to down. So I assume that down was the first one, was actually the last one. So that's my bad. Let's try that again. <laughs> The Great War engulfs the, engulfs the globe, as <laughs> they englobe the Gulf. In the deserts of the Middle East, the Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, armored vehicles engaging the rebels' forces, wielding rifles on horseback. T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small group force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces at on, so they must fight another way. Do the art of being a sneaky little biatch. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Ooh, that was a sound. I want to check it out. Be careful, though. Words in the wind tell of a new brotherhood being forged. Oh shit! <laughs> you didn't see anything. No, 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 you didn't. Oh god! 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 <laughs> Trying to freaking do the assassins trailer. Damn it! Oh wow, they even reveal that it's actually Zara before the game reveals that it's actually Zara instead of the Lawrence of the Arabia, which I guess that's what the intro is trying to make you think, you know, a that uh, patrol had joined this the person is crunch. Lawrence. Together, they guarded the no, it's Zara. She's a female. But of course they don't mention her. 
in the friggin' rant about Battlefield being sexist and not having girls in it. Oh, why would we mention that? That's just a small Very fact that would prove that everything we just said to you guys is complete bull. Turn around. Don't. Oh, yeah, pet your horse. That's a really nice pastime, man. Lewis gun suppressive. Mm. Sticks. Stickies. Hello, sticks. Sticks and dicks and stuff. Sorry, have I not spotted you? Oh, you classify as a support. Well, that explained the bad son. Go away. I Pardon? Supposed to die. can fire bullets. Okay, uh... Hey, you, I think I might, uh... I think I've changed my mind. You're in. You're part of my loadout. Well, what if the enemy has a light tank out in the middle of nowhere that I'm about to loot? Oh. I'm just here for equipment, actually, so I... <gasps> so slaughter. Hello, my beautiful young person. Probably swap Our you out eventually. The wide range of expensive mechanized weaponry. We learn to acquire little of his own at a much reduced cost. <laughs> that would have been so MLG if I just got a kill there. You know, I think what ended up happening here is that they started designing a multiplayer map, and then they're just kind of like. You know what? We don't even know what we're doing at this point. We're just going to ignore this and turn it into a single-player map and just make the excuse that single-player is normally really crap. All right. Not being very sneaky, so... I mean, let's just take, take the book. Wow, that, that, that center of a book is really trippy. Come out! It's over. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually... I was rather depending on it. Elons. Ah. Well, 
This is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Except away from the train tracks. <laughs> Soon all that you know and all that you love near the train tracks with the ashes. You will all be free. I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. Like it's a train, and it's very limited in where it can go. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. Right. Yeah, we need to skin his entire body. I'm sorry. Gosh. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy Mother. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Yay, because no more reinforcements. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. Hmm. Well, seeing that this is Bleach Desert and we're on the rock face, is it actually this big right here? I don't really go up here much, so I wouldn't know. Wouldn't it be awesome if the sentry kit still spawned down here? Yeah, see, they still have a little outpost area right there. Okay, well, first we're gonna we're gonna check the ruins first. Pretty sure that doesn't help anyone. Oh, wait, do I even have a... I do have a parachute, thank <laughs> No, sentry kit isn't here. Eh, screw you then. See if I care. Nah. <gasps> Lumpies! <gasps> Lumpies! Hi! There you go. Ooh! A suppressed Han Solo pistol. Nice. 
anti-tank grenades. I don't know why I'm going to need you, but I'm just going to pretend I want them. Could have been bad. Well, there. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Ah! No! <laughs> so brutal. Actually, could I just quickly... Hmm. I was thinking if I could just, like, quickly shoot them up and then loot this thing and take it, take his tank. Maybe. Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure by the time I get in the tank, everyone's going to be like, Oh, hey, Zara's here. Let's go fuck her up. Not like that. But you know what I meant. Ooh, hello. All right, we, I lost my lumpy charges. Oh. Ooh. Even better, a suppressed 1911. Come to me, my love. I need this thing in the multiplayer. Why can't we have this? Was that not really cool? What do you have? Uh, P.O.E. Atari. Aren't you the... Yeah, you're the P.O.E. with the drum magazine and all that. Gosh, that took way too many shots. Okay, okay. Uh, tank, you stay here. Jesus. Okay, if I can... If there's a, a repair tool in here, I'm set. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And wait. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Meep. Hello, horse. I don't need you. I need this. A single order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triplicate before the train would acknowledge it as genuine. Of course. Barrage the place. Ooh, ooh, oh, I hit someone. Hey, me, dude. Excuse me. Okay, uh, hold on. One of your buddies has a field gun. Oh. Uh, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. Oh, there you are. Hey, dude. Uh, say goodbye to your chest. You, you won't need it. 
Whoop. And uh, come on. Kaka. Okay, guys. Um, where is your leader? Take me to him. Can you can deal damage to me? Oh shoot! Chain reaction! Flammenwerfe explosion! Oof! He's in, he's in here somewhere. There he is. What the hell? Hey, you're not being very nice. Stop. Thank you. Yank. Mine. Whee! Rut row. Where? Is that him? No. Oh. No. Okay, you know what? I don't know where you are. So I'm just gonna do this. 